Hey, in this video, what I'd like to talk to you about is the value of budgeting, but also to, to be aware of what you're spending. So when we're looking at helping you get approved for a mortgage, we're looking at your banking information. How are you spending your money? Have you had any overdrafts? Have you had any bounce checks? But we're also looking a real detailed look that we'll, that we'll take for clients is where are they spending their money? So I'm training my admin to help me with, with looking at uh, bank statements. And she is a dynamo at looking at bank statements. And she will put such detailed notes, which for me as the mortgage originator, I can have a conversation with a client and say, hey, do you know, and this is a, a real example of uh, clients that we have uh, in, in the works of, of getting a house, do you know uh, that you spent nearly $600 at Starbucks last month? Nearly $600 at Starbucks. Here's where a good lender is, is going to be good. They're going to give you those, just sometimes those real conversations and those conversations of, hey, are you really paying attention? It would be perfect if we could all just have everything that we possibly wanted. And I, I love to believe that that's possible, but sometimes you've got to budget. So if you're spending that much, what ultimately that could mean is that could affect your affordability for a house. Now in, in lending, we're really not paying attention uh, to how much you're spending at Starbucks or going out to dinner. But a good lender does, and a good lender will have that conversation with you about your spending and maybe talking to you about maybe changing some things. Because can you imagine what saving that $600 a month could look like? Or even if you cut it in half, like what that could look like? It doesn't go into how much we approve you for a house for, but it can also affect how much home that you think that you could get. So sometimes when someone's looking at a home, they may say, hey, I can only pay X, but yet I'm looking at the numbers and the numbers are telling me something different until I really look at the bank statement. And I say, oh, okay, that's why you're telling me uh, that you want to pay less. Even though I can pre-approve you for more, going out to eat, maybe traveling, maybe that stuff's a little more important to you, which is okay. It's completely okay. And you know, no, I'm not dogging the people that um, that are spending that much in Starbucks. There's a value in knowing where every single do single dollar that you spend goes. And if you need help in figuring that out, even if you're not buying now, reach out to me. I'm happy to share some uh, some good budgeting tactics, some tips, uh, some spreadsheets that I have uh, that I think will help you. Uh, a site that I've heard of, if you don't want to reach out, is Mint.com. I've been told that uh, Mint does offer some uh, some really good ways for uh, for people to uh, to work on their budget and to know where where their spending is. So, just some tips on the value of having a budget, especially if home buying is in your future. Like, subscribe, share, and thanks.